<sighs> Alright. So, here it is. Getting ready to go to bed. But, here I am, having to do the news instead. So, a whole lot of misinformation on Sondland's testimony. <laughs> and I can understand why. And I kind of think that <laughs> his statements were written by his lawyers for this very effect. The very first thing he opens up with is this bombshell. There was quid pro quo from Trump to the Ukraines. Okay. So a lot of news sites are running with that, and that's their, that's their headlines. I believe it was ABC News ran with uh, Sondland defies Trump administration, says there was quid pro quo, and then some other sites were commenting on it. But then later on, the exact same guy, Sondland, says Trump explicitly said he didn't want any uh, quid pro quo. He said he specifically said he didn't want any quid pro quo. He simply said he wanted them to investigate corruption. And now here we're finding out that there may have been a very, very good reason for that investigation. But it's the spin that I want to focus on right now. Because so often online when I'm talking to someone, it's like they have no clue what's going on because they only focus on one side. They look at one thing and they say, hmm. That fits my narrative. That's, that's what I'm going to run with. Okay. But you're burying your head in the sand that way. You're not getting the full story. You're getting a narrative. You're getting spoon-fed whatever information, whoever it is that you're seeing, wants you to see. He said that there was quid pro quo, Sondland. He said that there was quid pro quo as far as he felt. As far as he felt. Again, we're on feelings. The justice system cannot run on feelings. We can't do that. We have to run on proof. We have to run on evidence. And then he said later on that, yeah, Trump explicitly said there's no quid pro quo. I don't want any quid pro quo. I just want you to investigate this corruption. And now we're finding out that there was corruption and quite a bit of it. But that's a, that's a, whole, different, uh, that's a whole different story. 11 hours, 50 minutes, and 45 seconds of video from today that I have sifted through and watched. And there's nothing there. Nobody has any solid, hardcore facts. Nobody has anything. It's a wild goose chase. It's a red herring. It's designed, like I said, to solidify the most <laughs> what's the word I want to use it's to solidify the most uh, uh, fanatic of Democrats and make them you know even more fan fanatic that way they have a good base so it's a political tactic I don't agree with it uh, but it's a political tactic watch different news sources you are worth having correct news and correct information don't just listen to one person don't just listen to me don't just listen to anybody else listen to a bunch of different people and form your own opinion don't be a sheeple don't be stuck into one narrative don't live in an echo chamber a data bubble where everybody agrees with you step out of your comfort comfort zone and see what other people see See, see what the rest of the world says. So, yes. And I'm getting a warning that my screen resolution is being dropped. So, yes. Anyways, thank you much for your time. I'll make this a short one. Uh, I'm, I'm really tired. Uh, I'm really going to bed now. Unless, like, my beeper goes off for some insane news update or something. But I hope it doesn't. You guys are awesome. You're beautiful. Use your speech. Don't let anybody take it away from you. Listen to different opinions. You guys are, are brilliant. You're smart. Expand your brains. Listen to different things. Stay away from personal attacks, damn it. Oh, debating online anymore is like stepping on the playground at elementary school. Anonymity. <laughs> Gives people big gajones. All right. Peace out.